Hey there, gorgeous, and welcome to my beauty salon, Shine Bright, where I'm going to give you a jaw-dropping makeover. I'll even help you pick up your jaw. <laughs> I want you to have the best experience here, so I've prepared a catalog for you to keep you entertained while I work my magic. It has some information about the craziest and creepiest beauty trends throughout history. And trust me, these are going to make you grateful that you live in these modern times. I'm sure you're already using a bunch of creams and serums at home to help you achieve flawless skin. There are so many different brands and types of products out there that it's even hard to choose one. Well, women in ancient Rome, however, didn't have that many options. Instead, what they used was sweat. And to add to the grossness of it all, it was not their own. Back in those days, gladiators were viewed to be symbols of fierce power who dazzled Roman ladies. So their sweat would be scraped from their bodies using a special metal tool called a sprigil and sold inside small pots outside the arena. Some bought it as souvenirs, some would wear it as perfume, and others would apply it as a form of face cream to smoothen the appearance of their skin. However, one important thing to be mentioned here is the fact that most of the time, this unusual ingredient was available to wealthy or aristocratic women because of how expensive they were. Wearing any type of makeup was thought to be an indication of belonging to the lower class and was deemed dishonorable. So, applying sweat to their face was one of the few ways wealthy women thought would enhance their natural beauty. But wait! Ancient Rome had even more freaky trends. As if sweat was not disgusting enough, another beauty ritual of Roman ladies included leeches. They would ferment them in vinegar for several months and apply this potion to their hair to dye it. Funny thing is, this actually worked. It would help them achieve a darker color. Now, they don't say the eyes are the windows to the soul for nothing. The eye area also had its share of bizarre beauty trends throughout history. Take ancient Greek ladies, for example. They were rocking the unibrow look long before Frida Kahlo. You see, ancient Greece was a tough place to live if you didn't have an appearance that fulfilled the beauty standards of the time. Ancient Greeks believed that physical beauty was directly correlated to internal beauty. So if they thought a person was good-looking, they considered them to be morally good too. Mm. But those who were deemed to be ugly ducklings were viewed as lacking character and manners. Then came the famous mathematician Pythagoras, who developed the golden ratio formula. It stated that balance and symmetry were linked to beauty in everything. Accordingly, symmetrical faces were considered the most beautiful, and that is how the unibrow became a thing. If someone's eyebrows were joined in the middle, this made their face look more symmetrical, therefore more beautiful. In time, one long brow turned into a symbol of intelligence and purity as well. And those who were not so lucky to be born with it would use dyed goat hair to close the gap in between. Yeah, I don't get it either. Speaking of gaps, let's make a time jump, shall we? The draw hair if necessary approach to the ancient Greek beauty standards transitioned into the let's get rid of all the face hair trend by the end of the Middle Ages and during the Renaissance. Throughout history, hairstyles have often been indicators of socioeconomic status or even marriage. This was no different during the Middle Ages. For example, while young girls would wear their hair loose and long, married women would keep their hair somehow hidden by wearing a veil or a hood. However, in addition to the regular hairstyle expectations of society, ladies would also remove their eyebrows and pluck their hairlines all the way back to achieve a large and prominent forehead. They would even pluck all their eyelashes to look as stylish as possible. They believed that this practice would make them resemble the head of a baby, therefore helping them appear more pure and innocent. It supposedly made them seem more intelligent, and from the upper class as well. Yet again, those who already belonged to the upper class and had wealth also followed the trend. Even Queen Elizabeth I would tweeze her own eyebrows to give herself an elongated forehead. But that's not it yet. Renaissance was full of crazy beauty trends. Again, during the Elizabethan era, sugar had been recently discovered, and it could only be imported from other territories. Since it was still new and interesting, 
people would use it for everything you can imagine, from dressing vegetables to making medicinal mixtures. Yet it was also extremely expensive. That's why you would have to be super wealthy to have access to it. And ironically enough, the rich who had the means to add sugar to their diet were unaware of what it can do to your teeth. As a result of this, if someone was wealthier, their teeth were more rotten. This led to the trend of women blackening their teeth on purpose to give the impression that they could afford sugar. Well, that's going a bit far. Again, Queen Elizabeth I was one of the most famous sugar consumers. And having a never-ending sugar supply didn't help either. They say her teeth were so black and so decayed because of this that people couldn't understand her speech. Nevertheless, since it's the queen we're talking about, everything she did was still seen as fashionable and was copied by all. If only she brushed her teeth, too. Not everyone in Europe was so fond of their decaying teeth, though. One 17th century French aristocrat wanted to maintain her shiny smile and her ability to have a meaningful chat with people. However, she took extreme measures for it, which had devastating consequences for her in return. The thing is, the ancient Greek belief of the more beautiful you were on the outside, the more healthy and virtuous you were on the inside, was still valid during this time. Unfortunately, she was already seen as a controversial woman who did not have a good reputation because of her many marriages. So she desperately needed to do something to keep her teeth in place and to protect what was left of her social rank in front of her frenemies. The thing she was suffering from was something called periodontal disease, which was the result of poor dental hygiene. It inflames the gums and bones surrounding the teeth, and in some cases, leads them to loosen and even fall out. Her traumatic and stressful past also caused her to grind her teeth, which didn't help either. She even had a tooth replaced with an artificial one grafted from ivory at an unknown point in her life. Then, when her condition got way worse, she wound gold wire around her false tooth and its neighbors. Over the years, she had to tighten it constantly to stabilize everything, but this practice actually further weakened the surrounding teeth. Now that you know this, I bet you'll appreciate your dentist and the invention of metal braces more. The questionable beauty trends of history were not limited to the face area. Nowadays, we do exercise and follow special diets to maintain a healthy figure. Ladies of the Victorian era also had the same goal. The only thing is, they used a very unconventional method to achieve it. To have an ideal waistline, the most famous diet of the time included swallowing pills that contained tapeworm eggs. The idea behind it was that these eggs would hatch, and the parasite would start growing inside the body. To feed themselves and survive, they would then start ingesting parts of whatever the host was consuming. Hence, ladies could eat whatever they wanted without worrying about calorie intake while losing weight at the same time. What's even scarier than this diet itself is the fact that some people still try this method today which only shows that the saying, beauty is pain, needs an update. Hey, you honestly want to look more attractive? Smile more! It's the best facelift! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side!